It's a little low. Good evening, everyone. I am Pastor Jesse. I'm here for our Learning Lab program. I'll put that camera up a little bit so I don't have to squat down as much. Zoom out. There we go. Hello, everyone. So welcome here to Learning Lab. Um, we're going to be doing some gardening today. And at the end, we're going to be making some pinwheels. So if you would like to make some pinwheels, I'll just tell you about what you might need. We're making two different kinds. One is made out of a soft drink bottle. We're using water bottles, but if you have a soda bottle, they might work a little better. You need a scissor for that and an old clothes hanger and perhaps some hot glue. And the other type of pinwheel we're gonna make is out of plastic folders. So that's the main ingredient here. There's a whole bunch of other things. Nicole will go over that one for you later. But the main one is if you have plastic folders, we can make that one together. So let's come over here since Nicole is going and getting more things and making sure that we are online. So good evening, everyone. Can you all hear me? Hopefully you're all doing well. It right, looks like we're all on here. So good. All right, so the first thing we are going to do tonight is look at our experiment we did a couple of weeks ago. Remember we planted those seeds? Last week I had that fun video of them growing. So look at how they are doing today. And today we're going to plant these in our garden as well. But we're going to take them apart to see how well they actually did growing. So you can see right now that there are four, about five plants that you see that are growing. All right, so once again, we had plants that were planted in soil, ones that are in gravel, ones that are in sand. And those were all planted by water or watered by water. Then we have ones that are planted in dirt that are watered by water, salt water, and soda. So let me take these over to the table and let us explore them. All righty. So let's look at these plants a little better and see how they did. We have the obvious ones that we can see how they're doing. I'm not going to go pull them apart because we want to plant them. We'll, we'll analyze them a little bit here, though. All right, so you guys can see this a little better here. All right, so the one planted in... Here, where this camera is. Oh, it's over here. So the one planted in gravel seemed to have done pretty good. One seed shot way up, but as you can see, it's kind of getting a little long here. I'm thinking that it might have started running out of nutrients a little bit here and is just searching for the light to make up for the fact that, you know, dirt doesn't really have that many nutrients in it. You mean rocks? Yeah, rocks doesn't have that many, yes. And then we have the one that's planted in dirt, which looks pretty good. As you can see that they are pointing towards the sun. And they'll do just fine in the backyard. Now the one in the sand, let's see how this one's doing. I'll use this scissor over here to dig it up a little. Look, can you hear me? No, it says waiting for a lot. Oh, there it goes. All right, so the one planted in the sand is not doing too well here. It looks like it started going a tiny little bit and then stopped. So not doing too well. So clearly dirt, seems to be better than gravel, and sand doesn't grow things too well. Again, we have water. Only one of these sprouted for some reason. Your face there doesn't really... The numbers are going up. All right, we'll continue here. Nicole's saying that Facebook might be having some problems. Hopefully not. Let me know if you're having some problems. Right, we have 
salt, which is not doing good almost at all. And then we have the one that is growing by soda. And again, still have the same one that sprouted a tiny little bit and didn't do much after that. All right, hopefully we're good there. I had it streaming twice on the computer through YouTube and Facebook, so I closed the YouTube one. So hopefully this keeps working. All right, so we're gonna dig up these a little tiny bit here because I wanna see what's going on with the one that is growing in soda. So it seems to have sprouted a little bit and didn't do much past that. Now what do I have here that I can dig with? We'll use these scissors here. So this one, let's see what it did here. All right, so once again, growing in soda. So this one kind of sprouted a little bit and just stopped. It looks a little uh, moldy under there too. So soda, I don't think you should be watering your plants with soda. Salt water, you shouldn't be watering your plants with salt water. I think you should plant your plants, water them with water. I don't know why the other two didn't come up. And plant them in dirt. So when we go downstairs, I'll plant these three. All right, so the next thing we're going to do tonight is we're gonna go outside and Plant some plants. Now, I did some planting already, but we're going to go and see how they all did. <laughs> all right. So hopefully you guys can see me here. and We're going to go take a trip outside. Just checking out how it's streaming. Having a little few of the problems here tonight. Should have restarted the computer. So we're gonna go and plant some plants here outside. So let's go take a trip with me. And we're going down the stairs. And we're going to the door. Over to the garden. Here we go. So I did plant some things last week. When I go in, I'm going to show you my garden, how it's doing. We're going to be planting two cucumber plants and two zucchini plants over there tonight. This week I planted some jalapeno peppers, some sweet peppers, some, I think these are the Rutgers tomatoes, and eggplant. And over here we have our potatoes starting to spring up a little bit in the garden. So I'm going to go put my camera down so that you can see what All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cover up some of our potatoes. The ones that started to sprout, how you plant potatoes is you keep covering them up with more dirt. So I'm going to move some dirt over there. Just give me a second so you get a good angle for this. Hopefully you all can hear me. Hopefully this is still streaming since I always restart my computer. I forgot to the night. Here we go. So I'm going to go shovel some dirt over there, cover those ones up.
So you can see, I just shoveled some dirt up and put it over there. All right, a little bit more here, and we'll go plant some plants. Take this out of there. Throw that away later. Put the irrigation system back up. And then we got our spots for it. Now we can plant our plants. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna plant our two zucchinis over here, our cucumbers over there. I'm gonna plant a few of the beans over here. We'll make a trellis one of these weeks as well. So just bear with me for a second. I'll get those going in the ground. All right, so here, let's look at these plants. So when my mom planted these seeds a few weeks ago, she said they looked very different when they first came up. When I picked them up last week, they looked very much the same. Luckily today, they once again look different again. So if you look at them, if you look at the leaves, the leaves really don't look any different from one another. What is the way that you think that I can tell a difference here? I'll give it a second so you guys can respond online. So what looks different now that they're growing a little bit? Now, if you guess the flowers, that is right. So here are the cucumbers flowers are these little tiny yellow flowers, kind of a bright yellow, while the zucchini's flowers are much bigger. So I hope that these are correct, but they look like it. And uh, we'll plant the few cucumbers further in and the zucchini towards the outside of the garden. Let me put the camera down here and let's get these in the ground. All right, so we got one zucchini in. As you can see, I watered it as I planted it in, and I'll go plant the other one and the two cucumbers. And Nicole can give you some commentary while I do this so I don't have to hold the microphone.
Alrighty, so we got all four of our plants in. Now let's go move on to our beans over here. Hope it's still streaming all right. I won't know till I get back in. All right, so we're gonna plant our beans just right over here and we'll make a little trellis another time. I'm gonna leave the ones in the rocks in the rocks. I'll put them in the middle. So we can see how it does once it's planted for a while. And beans can be pretty close together. So we'll plant three close holes here. There we go, that looks good. All right. There we go, and let me get these in the ground. So there you have it. So we got all of our plants in the garden for now. Let me just collect my garbage here. Carry this all to the backyard and I'll show you my garden. Put everything down back there. And this is my garden for you. So I got some lettuce growing here, some beans in the middle, some potatoes over there, another row of potatoes in the front, some what I think is all cucumbers, we'll find out, and a whole row of tomatoes over here. So let me kick you back to Nicole. We'll start explaining our next project. Here you go, Nicole. Okay. So, now that we um, finished planting our garden, I thought it would be a good idea to maybe decorate our garden with some homemade pinwheels. So we have two pinwheels that we can make. Uh, like Jesse mentioned before, one of, one of them is made out of water bottles or soda bottle. And then the other one is made out of a plastic folder. Okay. So we will start with the plastic folder one first. So what you have to do is oops oh okay so you have your folder you would cut it in half so you have the two halves of the folder which i did already so here's the one half and then you want to cut off all the little extra pockets. Then you want to cut off all the extra pockets and then cut it into a square. So my square was a nine by nine. So we'll cut it and we'll make it a nine by nine square.
And here's Nicole making a perfect square for us today. And once again, you can make these at home if you can find some plastic folders around. And you might be able to make them out of any sort of thick paper as well, but you probably don't want to put them outside. All right, so now that you made your square, what you're going to do is now draw a line from each corner to corner. So... Notice. Okay, so if you notice, if you notice, see it, um, I drew a line from this corner to this corner and this corner to this corner. So you draw a line so from like each corner X. to the middle. Okay. Are you going to? Okay. All right. Now you're going to cut from each corner to the middle. But you're not going to go all the way to the middle. You're going to leave about an uh, inch or an inch and a, about a half an inch or an inch left from the middle point. Okay, so now what you'll have is four triangles, right? One, two, three, and four. So now you're going to get a hole punch, and you're going to hole punch a hole in the same corner on each triangle so that you're left with only four holes, not eight holes, but four. So if you look at one of your triangles... If you punch this side, which is the right side, right? Okay. So I would punch a hole in, in the right side of each one of these triangles. So as you can see, Nicole is cutting a hole in each of the same corners of each one. Hi, Michelle. Now, if your hole punch can fit, hole punch the middle. Um, of your square. If not, what I did um, was I hammered a little nail to make a little hole in it. And if you need to hammer a nail, I would suggest that you ask a parent to help you with that. Nicole will be hammering a nail straight through our office table. Now she's using a scissor to make it a little bit bigger. 
a knife. Don't use a knife without parents' helps. Cutting right at your fingers. The better way would be to nail it through a scrap piece of wood with a large nail. <laughs> okay. So now what you're going to do is take each one of those corners that you hole punched and, mar and uh, fold it over into the middle. And then when you have all four folded, you're going to stick the nail through. So you do need a nail for this as well. You're going to fold them all over. Nicole needs just two hands for this. She needs four hands for this, so let me get over there to give her a hand. So here we are, folding these together, putting a nail through the center. Oh, it looks like a pinwheel you get at the store. And now Nicole needs my help. What do you need my help with, Nicole? Well, I either need you to nail the nail into this and I will hold it, or you hold this <laughs> and I will nail it. I will nail the nail, Nicole. Hopefully not go through your finger. Should we pre-drill a hole here, hon? Well, we could, but we don't have a drill right now, so. <laughs> All right, let's get this here. We will pre-drill a hole. So if you do this at home, you don't need to use a dowel. If you have any sort of stick laying around that's bigger, that will take a nail better. So let me just drill this. I would like to add that while Pastor Jesse is trying to uh, drill this nail into this dowel, if you want to make one of these at home, you can use paper um, and a pencil and a thumbtack. So you would put your paper. Um, I will wait. So if you would like to do this with paper, all you need is piece of paper, cut it into squares, do the same thing we did with the uh, folder. And then instead of using nail, you use a thumbtack, and then you could thumbtack it into um, a pencil eraser. So you can do that too. And there we have it, our pinwheel. I'll go take a picture. <laughs> so um, if you would like to make these at home, feel free to. Um, we will post the directions for each one of these so you could do it at home. Uh, feel free to make one for your house. Feel free to make one for the church. You could drop it off and we'll put it in our garden. All right, next one is we're going to use a water bottle. 
And Nicole can hold for this thing. This one goes a little quicker, so <laughs> keep an eye out. Put the microphone over here. Oh. This one, you cut the bottom off your water bottle, like so. And we mentioned that flat soda bottles might work better. You cut four lines straight up. So they're all about the same exact size. You peel them back so you make little fins. So do them on a slight angle. And this one, if you do it with a nice clean dry bottle they are clear or perhaps they're green or something depending what bottle you use and you can paint each one of these flaps after you fold them down so you can paint them all right there like that then you want to drill a hole or use a nail put a tiny hole in the middle of the bottom of your water bottle like so You want to put a hole in the middle of the middle water bottle, like so. Yeah, man. There we go. There we go. Once you get that, you need to get yourself a old star clothes hanger. Cut the clothes hanger apart. Again, use a hood and bolt to help you. Bend your clothes hanger straight. On one side, bend it a little bit on the other side. Cut it out a bit. You stick it through one hole. You're going to stick it through the other hole. Make your hole a little bigger. All right, now my hole should fit now. Yeah, I, missed a step. I missed a step. Cut four lines in this piece that you're sticking in there. About equidistant as well. And you stick it in here like so's. And there you go. There is your pinwheel. Then you can adjust your flappers a little bit there. And once again, you can paint this on all of these and make it all look pretty. So you guys can make some of these pinwheels this week. You could send pictures to me and Nicole. And we can see how they are next week. And if you'd like to, you could even come by and stick some in our community garden on the side of the church over there. So hope you had fun this evening. So once again, you have these two type of pinwheels that you can make. You have a little one out of a water bottle, or you make a fancy one that looks like a pinwheel you buy at the store out of a piece of plastic or a piece of thicker paper. So let me just see how you guys are all doing here. Never drill towards your hand. We can hear you, Josiah. Hi everyone, so cool. 
Yes, if you do need to use a drill or a nail or a hammer, please ask an adult to help you. All right. So once again, I thank everyone for joining us tonight. Um, next week, I invite you to come back again. And as we mentioned, is you can send us in some pictures and videos of you making your pinwheels. If you add some to the garden, I can send in, I can post some pictures of them out there. So let us turn to our Lord and pray as we close this evening. Let us pray. Lord, this day we come to you and we thank you for bringing us here. Lord, we thank you for the nature that's around us. And as we move into spring, we ask that you help all the plants that we planted to grow well in our garden so that we can feed one another, Lord, as, as you feed us every day. Lord, continue to be with each one of us, be with all the children who participate in our program, all who are at home learning from home during this time, that we continue to find new ways to reach out to each other, new ways to learn, and great ways to explore this world. Lord, continue to guide us as we lift this prayer to you in Jesus' name. Amen. So I thank everyone for joining us this evening. Um, this Friday, we are having a online game night at 7 o'clock p.m. Trying to see if I have a slide here for that. It should be this one. So Friday, if you call that number or join via Zoom, um, the meeting ID is on the screen as well, 702-260-091. So if you would like to join us on Friday for some games, I invite you to do so at 7 o'clock p.m. So I hope everyone has a blessed day and take care.